All right, how are we today? Good. All right, so I have a question for you. Do you know what the word expectation means? It's a big word. Have you heard that word? What do you think, Felix? What you should be doing at school? Yeah, Cora, did you have? What you shouldn't be doing, okay. Lucy? What you're expected to do, yeah, yeah. So if we have like a, um, a party, maybe we, um, we have this expectation or maybe we have this hope that it's going to be really great and we're gonna have great food and all of these people are gonna come, right? That's like an expectation, right? Or like you said, things that you should or shouldn't do, those are expectations, right? Um, what other things might we expect? Or hope, hope happen a certain way or? Any ideas? What about unexpected? What happens when we put that prefix on in front of a word? Yeah. Um, it may mean the opposite. The opposite. So yeah, so the opposite of expected, the unexpected. What are unexpected things? Yeah? Not expecting, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> what's that, Felix? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, okay, so yeah, so you're walking around a corner and somebody randomly jumps out and scares you. That was totally unexpected, right? That is great. Or maybe like um, you, um, you go to school or you come home and there's cookies on the table. That's unexpected, maybe. Or um, somebody gives you a present. That's unexpected. Those are good un unexpected things. We had bad unexpected things. Yeah, you have another idea? You got a random package in the mail. That's unexpected. That's great. Yeah, okay, so um, do you know that we often refer to Jesus as a king? Did you know that? No? So what do we expect when we hear king? How are kings treated? Or rulers, queen, kings and queens? What's that? Someone who has a lot of power? Being nice, that's a good expectation. We expect them to be nice, yeah? Do, do people, how do people treat them, the kings and queens? Yeah. Kindly, and they kind of spoil. They spoil them, yes. So kings and queens get served, right? Let me bring you tea, and let me do your dishes, and people serve the rulers, right? So when we call Jesus a king, is that an expected king or an unexpected king? Unexpected, yeah. So why is Jesus an unexpected king? Jesus came to serve people and to help people, which that's not like the typical kings and queens, right? So instead of being served, Jesus came to serve. And in our, on our psalm that we just listened to, it says, where does my help come from? My help comes from God and Jesus, and that's unexpected, it was unexpected, because people thought Jesus was the king. Well, Jesus was a king, but Jesus was the unexpected king who came to help and serve, right? So when we go to Kids Church, we're gonna talk about um, people who help and serve and how they teach us to help and serve other people. But Jesus did. Jesus, that's unexpected too, because you don't know what you're gonna do in Kids Church, right? Um, yeah, so, um, all right, so then yep, we're going to talk about all the people who help and serve in the world and maybe in unexpected ways and how we can help and serve people too. All right? Will you pray with me? Thank you, God, for your son Jesus, the unexpected king, who did things backwards and taught us to help and serve others. Help us be like Jesus. We love you too. Amen. All right. If you'd like to join us in Kids Church, we're going to go across.